Hello, I am Salih Karagöllü and this is the slide presentation of Group 17's Arduino project. We made an Arduino system that can teach itself and we named our project as Demonstruct. Demonstruct comes from two words, uh, demonstrating and constructing. We chose these two words because they explain our objectives pretty clearly as you will see uh, in the incoming slides and also if you look at our logo you can see that two lines with arrows that link to each other. This represents uh, the link between user program and the hardware. Demonstruct is designed for computer science engineers who are trying to learn Arduino but has limited resources, time and don't know where to start from. It takes the user's Arduino and coding knowledge from the scratch and builds above it until the user's knowledge is sufficient enough for, uh, for first the second year assignments uh, given by the university or just for simple short projects. Demonstruct provides an Arduino that can teach itself since it has all the potential to do it. I think some things should be understood well here. Our system does not make users experts. It builds the user's knowledge until it reaches the boundary as I mentioned. Of course, the system has the potential for making users experts, but having less than a month and having final exams cuts productivity greatly. Beginners uh, generally have difficulty about where to start from, so uh, the system tracks uh, each in order to guide them and teach them better. This, the program supports multi-users and can track each of their progresses independently. Demonstruct keeps all of the user's progression safe with user identification system. We made an user identif identification system so that uh, each user is being tracked independently. This is crucial because uh, there is a big difference between an amateur and a beginner for the system's point of view. The system guides all users to their personal, uh, personal progression. Users just have to sign up to the system uh, and let the system do the rest. This guidance has also been made possible by our XP system, which is tightly integrated with our user identification system. Also, the menu layout uh, has been made extremely simple for uh, easier understanding. The user doesn't need any extra knowledge to slide through menus and uh, figure out how the system works. Users uh, just uh, should follow the system directives and let the system do the rest, so they should be just fine. Menus are important, but not as the rest of our system. Demonstruct ex explains all the codes necessary for the demonstrations and challenges in the continuation of the system. C code, quote unquote, uh, which is made by Denison, uh, give all the knowledge for Arduino codes and Arduino codes categories. If you look at the codes, uh, they refer to different things. Uh, first one is uh, the Arduino code, which refers to literal Arduino codes, and the second one refers to Arduino codes category that we uh, built into our system, uh, which made by he uh, Matt helps uh, users to understand the Arduino syntax and gives them uh, an overall understanding with explanations and examples. If you look at the images on the right hand, you can see the uh, you can see that from top to bottom, our system first shows the diagram for circuit building, uh, and then shows what code is running and running the code simultaneously. So, uh, second and third uh, picture uh, pictures are being uh, uh, run simultaneously. Now for the part that I will go more in detail here. Incoming. Now for the bigger part. Uh, one of our main goals uh, was to make an Arduino which can basically teach itself. Demonstruct can uh, help users build circuits with diagrams, photos and explanations. After user built the project's all components, Demonstruct can give order to Arduino to detect if the user has built the circuit proper or not. If not, further explanation can be made. If the circuit uh, has been built successfully, the demonstration part begins. So there is a lot to go uh, in detail here. Uh, we have a project category in our system. 
uh, this system is made by me uh, it gives user uh, little projects to practice uh, coding and circuit building let's give an example to make you understand the concept better let's say uh, you choose a su subject that is uh, compatible uh, to your uh, progression which is made possible with our progression system by the way uh, there let's have an easy one uh, the one that comes first actually uh, trying the lead blinking you know from the examples part from ID Arduino IDE uh, first uh, the program tells what components you need in order to build it physically then it shows you a diagram for you to build it as easy as possible. After you build it, uh, you tell the system, okay, I have built it now, check my circuit. Uh, and then Demonstruct will look for possible connection errors with different methods. And if you, the detection result is positive, the Demonstruct will notify user about it and go to the next phase, which is the demonstrating part. Uh, so in this part the blinking code will start to run on Arduino and then simultaneously uh, the system will show uh, what code is running on the screen. After all these um, some extra tips and tricks has been given to the user so that the user uh, codes more ethically and easily. Uh, so thanks to all uh, of these, user is being teached uh, by showing them physically, logically and abstractly. As the group leader, I was a little bit hard to put them, it was a little bit uh, hard to put them together actually, the whole code. Demonstruct runs the corresponding code to the demonstration and uh, shows how the code works in physical environment and also while demonstration the code that Demonstruct runs in uh, is being shown. This way uh, one of the biggest difficulties while coding is uh, not being able to see what you have done has been overcome thanks to Demonstruct. This is a big problem throughout all coders because the code is not a physical thing uh, and does not notify you when it doesn't or doesn't work. Demonstruct also gives people some recommendations about the coding ethics so that uh, people don't code chaotically anymore. Reading each other's code is really important, especially if you are working in groups as we did. If we go detail about the circuit detection part, it can detect the present circuit in many various ways like directly reading analogously from the circuit, digitally reading the circuit, letting users know with LEDs which uh, are being connected in a particular way and with some physical button switch operations. With these methods, our code and Arduino can adapt to many different circuits and scenarios. If users want to find out how it works, they can also look through the code since the program is open source. Also, uh, I will be linking down uh, them down in the description so that uh, you can see uh, them in more detail. After some progression made which the uh, XP system determined, firstly the user will be able to get a better understanding of how some hardware is work like ultrasonic sensor, uh, potentiometer, uh, push button switch and many more. All the steps we mentioned earlier uh, like explanation, examples, detection, recommendation and demonstration has been applied throughout all the uh, hardware. Demonstruct is a project made by using Arduino. Grasping the working principles of Arduino might be difficult for some beginners. This project aims to teach Arduino from the very beginning with a gamified approach. Demonstruct contains many lessons and examples with varying difficulties. Users can create their profiles uh, to earn experience by completing lessons and use their experience points to unlock the next level. In an ever-changing and globalized world, uh, technology and programming have become uh, integral parts of our daily lives. As a result of this, people of all ages and different educational backgrounds might have a desire to develop their projects. Arduino is cut out for this purpose. This project aims to teach people programming with Arduino in the most basic and quick way with its lessons and exercises. So the slides presentation is over. Thank you for listening. 
After this, I will show you a demo of our system. Hi, welcome again. Uh, to remind you, I am Salih Karagöllü and this is the uh, project of group 17th Arduino project named Demonstruct. As the group leader, I am responsible for putting all system parts together and demonstrating them to you. Firstly, I will run codes from scratch so that you can see everything clearer. So Arduino code is here, C code is here, they talk to each other. Here we have the Arduino code. It is connected to COM5. Make sure you connect uh, your Arduino to COM5, otherwise it will not work. Uh, the C code I'm talking about. Arduino code will work, but it won't talk to C unless you uh, connect to connect it to COM5. Run it. Okay has compiled and I will show it to you from the exit file because that's how uh, the users will interact with it uh, your Arduino has connected successfully uh, welcome to demonstrate this message shows up only if you uh, connect Arduino successfully if you disconnect Arduino or uh, connect it to uh, the wrong port uh, the program just won't start and just won't run it shows an error message like this so let's connect our arduino here uh, a message will appear just press any key uh, this application will teach things and it shows a uh, explains you the uh, system shortly uh, this is the our uh, user identification system one of our main uh, one of our uh, core systems in our uh, demonstract so let's sign up to show you how it works enter your name Salif enter your username let's make it Gebze and let's make our passwords as one two three four it doesn't have to be all numbers you can make one two three four abc let's make it that way and if you press uh, minus uh, from the keyboard it reveals the password so our username is gebze and our password is one two three four abc okay let's enter now trace it successfully it's being redirected Let's log in. Give the one, two, three, four, ABC. You can see. Welcome to Demonstruct Sali. Our experience is zero right now. Program is loading. Okay. Uh, now we have just uh, two categories because our XP is zero and uh, we didn't make any progression. So uh, we just have two categories. Show you uh, them. Uh, we have C codes and Arduino codes. Uh, the C codes basically uh, just redirects you to uh, the corresponding uh, internet pages and explains them briefly. So it's not necessary to open it so we go to arduino syntax education in this part we will learn most important Ar arduino code to see lesson menu press any button okay so here we have uh, the essential arduino codes that you will uh, use in your first uh, year of computer science and engineering uh, classes Let's say we want to look at serial read. We use serial read to get our user inputs from serial monitor. Press any key to see example. Uh, this category shows basically uh, how the code works and why it's uh, where uh, should we use it and how should we use it. And now we can sh change the value of user input variable with uh, user input. 
uh, here we, uh, it shows uh, how we will use it uh, and the users can try uh, these codes uh, by themselves and uh, learn it press any key to go back so this code uh, this category just uh, tells you basic syntax and the usage areas and other essential codes like delay delay microseconds random seed random this is all input output analog and things like that uh, from here uh, as you see as you will see our XP is 20 now because uh, we look to uh, two categories and uh, we gain 10 XP each if we gain uh, enough XP some of the categories and some of the uh, areas will, will unlock so this uh, because this is a beginner account uh, I can show you everything so I will log out to show you all of the uh, categories I have a, a developer account in this I have registered it login okay in here we have uh, 770 uh, XP and uh, here uh, we have uh, other categories and other uh, subcategories unlocked uh, so we can look through let's say let's let's look at connections this connections part is uh, about Arduino's itself uh, not other th things Arduino's hardware so now we talk to Arduino didn't work so uh, by the way if you want to uh, if you uh, start uh, the program this program uh, you should uh, upload uh, Arduino program first so I didn't do that be uh, because of that I couldn't enter second category okay now it should open login so let's see we should wait a bit okay uh, all this menu uh, writings come from Arduino and uh, when you go to uh, let's say uh, two uh, second category uh, it uh, is being told to Arduino uh, okay yes I'm in the second category and my sub category is uh, two, uh, so make the make the adjustments. Uh, C code uh, tells Arduino these. Let's look at analog things. Let's say uh, here we have very very uh, detailed explanation of uh, analog pins and their usage rates and its parameters and uh, how its syntax and analog rights works, and also. You can watch this video for uh, analog write analog read, so it uh, re can redirect you to uh, this internet page, and also uh, to uh, see an example about analog read and uh, analog write. It should be analog write function press two. Okay, let's press two. We are going to see example of, uh, and things like that. It it explains to you the parameters and how the values take. Uh, before we begin to uh, to the ex example, we should set set up the circuits uh, just like in the picture. Press any key to see the setup. I want to see the setup, so I, I press it. So uh, for the analog read and write uh, codes, uh, we have uh, we should build this uh, diagram according according to this diagram, and press any key if you're ready. Okay, I am ready. Let's say, uh, press it, and now uh, the code shows, uh, and uh, uh, here how it works shows uh, in a physical environment. Okay, I understood this too. Now you will see. Oh, this is for the uh, different uh, values of these uh, functions. It shows different 
examples okay i press it okay now understand that uh, see that this light uh, light brightness has gone down okay here you can see the difference if you look at uh, if you uh, follow all these directions uh, directives uh, given by the code uh, you should uh, see this uh, difference okay so now you can see the difference between power of the LEDs brightness so this is one way one way of uh, showing the examples there are many ways actually so zero to go back if you enter 9 you will go back to the main page okay we enter 9 so now we are in the main page so if you look uh, we did some uh, we went through some categories in hardware menu and our XP has increased but it won't change change anything because we already uh, have unlocked everything uh, let's see uh, the hardware category Welcome to Arduino Hardware Menu, press any key to continue. Uh, we have all of these and each of them has a uh, unique, um, let's say, unique example. I'll start a video from my phone too, in order to show you them in sync. Okay. So... Now, I will enter to um, button categories. I input, uh, I give input by uh, pressing the key from the um, keyboard. You can get input from the user using a button. So uh, please connect the button, uh, getting help from the image. Press two to get uh, a helping image. So I have now built a, a similar circuit to it. Uh, this circuit is um, from the project category, but I can uh, make it work in this category too. Let's see the image first. Okay, we have to build this uh, to here. I can do it by making, oh, it's already complete, I think. Let's see here, it is seven, okay. I have built it. Okay, press one while holding the button uh, when you're done connecting. So I have to do both of my one hand. So let's see. I have to press enter and it should be easier with two hands, but connection was successful. Press one to get a code, code example. Because I pressed the button, this was a uh, way of uh, detecting if the circuit is complete or not. There, there are other ways, uh, as I said too. Uh, as you see, uh, the um, detection has uh, has been uh, successful. And let's one uh, press one to get a code example. Okay, uh, this is uh, what what is this? Mm. This code uh, turns on the LED when you press the button. Try it. So you can uh, see from here that uh, if you you can help uh, and properly do okay yada yada and you can use uh, this code and upload it to Arduino and uh, you should be able to uh, make this uh, circuit work. Let's press zero to go to the hardware section menu. And I will close my video from the phone. Okay. Uh, there are also uh, a lot of different uh, categories in here too. You can uh, check all of them and you can uh, get a different detection pattern. Uh, here we press a button uh, somewhere else you will uh, ask to see uh, wait for five seconds uh, to detect or something 
So each of them is different because, for example, if you go to hit center, there won't be a, a, a button. So you have to detect uh, it from another way. So let's go to through project. Wait a second. Uh, so if you look also uh, in third category, our XP has increased too because uh, we detected and built uh, projects and uh, and made uh, some progression. Okay. Fourth category. Okay, now. Uh, we have traffic light controller, button press counter, ultrasonic range meter. I'll start a video from my phone again to show you how this part works too. Because before uh, we looked at uh, the button thing, uh, I will show you the same thing because uh, I uh, I can't build, uh, I can't have uh, two breadboards so can show them in one video but I can add a uh, video afterwards about how it shows okay let's press 2 okay uh, you if you have gathered all of these press any queue to continue okay if you if you uh, get all of these which is I have setting up breadboard try to build incoming sh uh, schema okay now I changed my uh, circuit so I have to rearrange it again okay I have to like this and here this was two so I have to Take the seven and connect it to two. Okay, this should work now. If it doesn't, we'll see what happens. Okay, to check if your wires and connections are correct, press one. If you want to see the uh, schema again, uh, press two. I think I did it right, so. I will press one. Now, after this message, I need you to press down the button and stay still until the program tells you if the, if your circuit is complete or not. Press any key to continue. Again, uh, we have to press the button. It's the same checking mechanism. I'm pressing the button and pressing any key. Result of connection checking is you have su successfully bu built your project. Okay. So this is a good thing and I can show you uh, what happens if it doesn't uh, if you don't do it things right now I will press uh, any key uh, but while pressing I won't uh, hold down the button so that uh, it will give a false message okay wait the circuit has been built hasn't been built properly so it has checked and uh, because I didn't do the uh, directive uh, correctly uh, it has given me a false message you have checked your circuit to go to the next step uh, press 3 uh, this uh, line uh, is being told to you if you uh, checked your circuit uh, otherwise you won't be able to see this menu so I'll press 3 press 1 to initialize the example and see what code will run on it uh, and if you want to try it yourself, press 2 to tip, see tips and tricks uh, which can help you code better. So, I will, one second, okay, start the video uh, again from my phone, press 1. And now this code is uh, running uh, in our uh, Arduino. Press any key to start the interactive example. Now we can make uh, the examples are uh, the examples can be interactive too. So now I can 
push the button and you cannot see it from the video but my LED is a little bit broken so it doesn't show it isn't bright if you can see as I press the button the LED uh, goes on and off and also uh, here it counts it uh, every uh, uh, 15 uh, presses it asks me it, it asks me uh, to uh, if I want to exit or not so I don't uh, I'll press 8 or something anything else than once it works okay I continue pressing uh, yeah by the way uh, I'll press uh, while press 1 to exit the program and uh, because of that it already con uh, counted I will continue pressing it okay there was a bug there as you see here now it should work just fine now let's press 7 it goes on from 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. Let's go to an another 15. Okay. Goes on. And press 1 to exit the program. Okay, now I want to exit. Okay. Now it goes to the main menu. If you want to try it yourself, press 2 to see tips and tricks, which can help you code better. Here. It uh, gives us some uh, recommendations about our code. Can close the video from my phone. And okay. Now I want I want to exit. Let's go to the main menu. Menu. Okay. Uh, I guess. By the way, uh, I have put all these categories, uh, systems, and both C and Arduino code together and make them work in sync. Uh, it was a little challenge for me to do, but I think uh, it all paid for it. This system has an unlimited p potential. The more time you put into it, the more it gets better. Thank you for watching uh, to the end. Have a good day.